This is Ken Lathrop from Coffee Crafters, and I'm in beautiful, it's actually cooler. Uh -huh. It's kind of a, a city outside of Savannah, Georgia, which is we're down here for a few days on vacation with our good friends Dave and Donnelly Marlin. And you might remember them from some of our earlier videos because they lived in Washington before they moved down here and started their coffee business. We've done several videos with you mm -hmm. in your roasting room, but we thought it'd be an excellent opportunity when we're down here to show you about setting up a new business. You just moved to a new city. Yes. Everything is new, including um, getting your business permits and everything going. And as you can see, they live in a cul-de-sac here in an HOA, which is what they lived in in Spokane. Right. A little bit larger lot here, mm -hmm. but basically some of the same challenges. And so we're gonna take a, a tour of their roasting room and show you how they set a business up in this environment without bothering the neighbors, which is right. a question that we get all the time. Yes. And uh, I'm sure you're happy to be down south and be out of the snow because as we know, back home it's really cold right now. Absolutely. So why don't we take a uh, walk inside? We're gonna go out the back. So we're out in the backyard and when you guys moved in, there was nothing here, right? Right, it was just plain grass with these couple of live oaks in the back. We didn't have any of this concrete patio area, gazebo, uh, barbecue shack, and the most important room back and here. And the roasting room. So you put in this whole thing. You got yes. your, you got your southern place here with yep. your screen thing yep. and the TV in there, which is yep. probably your main living room now. Right. Covered barbecue area. And then what we're out here to look at is your roasting room. So this Correct. is such a common installation. Now this is a little bigger than what a lot of people have but these portable sheds that are insulated mm -hmm. and wired for roasting are the perfect size. Some people think they need more room, mm -hmm. which is not true. Right. Smaller is better in many cases, and this is actually more extravagant than the roasting room you had in Spokane, yes. which was eight by 10. Mm -hmm. And you had a full roasting operation in there, and Dave will put a, a picture up here to show yes. what that looked like in there. So this is a little bit larger, uh -huh. but you guys did an excellent job setting this up. So let's go inside and take a look. Yep. So we're inside their new roasting room and you guys got this completely uninsulated and unfinished, right? Correct. So yeah. you had to do all the work. You put a drop ceiling in it, mm -hmm. insulated, got an air conditioner in here because it does get warm down uh, here. <laughs> yes, especially when you're roasting in the summer, we found out. Yeah. yeah. So. This is such a common installation for people uh -huh. in an eight by 10 shed is even large enough because you can put a full setup against the back wall. Right. It leaves the rest of the area for packaging. You have more space in here than you had before, but it's, it's a comparable setup. And for those of you that are looking at this pink roaster behind us, this is a one of a kind, uh, <laughs> never to be manufactured again. Yes. Uh, Donnie was so gracious when we were doing um, product development and testing yeah. that she was my guinea pig for testing, testing, testing. And so I agreed to, to build her a pink roaster um, because she loves the color pink. Yes. It does clash a little bit with your red Artisan 3E there, but right. that's okay. We're okay with that. Yeah. So Dave, why don't you pan around the roasting room and show what you have. So, um, got the two roasters here. Then you pan around, he's got, he's got his grinder in here, a stainless steel packaging station. Um, you guys make K-cups as well. Correct. So they got their heat and seal machine in here and you can buy these machines on Coffee Tech. CoffeeTech.com mm -hmm. sells them. A uh, little weigh and fill machine, which works mm -hmm. great. I have one of these at home for my operation. And then your bags are stored up here. Mm -hmm. Your beans are all stored down here. Mm -hmm. But this is a great space. So this could be an eight by 10 to a 10 by 12 room in mm -hmm. a basement like you had. Right. Because in their old uh, business, you had a hair salon in one side. Yes. <laughs> the roasting room is here, and Marlin Media Productions was in a room around the corner. Your right. entire basement was a business. It totally was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we had a storage room um, that, because our roasting room was so much smaller than this, um, our storage room is what, where we housed our beans in our extra packaging materials because we couldn't fit it in that tiny little room uh, down there. So that's why we chose to bump up the size of the outdoor shed here so we could have everything out here in one place yes and it, it i want to note that the cul-de-sac that you were in before the little right. hoa yeah was zero lot line right so they had problems to solve in sound abatement yep. and things and um well dave put up a picture of the sound abatement system he put in yes. your house there because when we were outside of your house when the blower was running mm -hmm. 
it sounded like a dryer humming, mm -hmm. which is similar to here. And Dave did the same thing here to be good to his neighbors. Yes. And so when we're, we look at the outside of the building, I like to show people the creative solution that Dave came up with. Right. And, uh, you know, like, so when the flowers are smoking, the coffee is broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The These are ferns yeah. now. We <laughs> had flowers in the other one, ferns yeah. in this one. But anyway, this is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. But they put a TV in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. no, it turned out really nice. But this is this is a really common installation. We have people all over the United States that use these. Mm -hmm. We have people in Alaska that use these. Mm -hmm. And you buy one of these, they're fairly inexpensive for yes. a building. Put mm -hmm. them on a concrete pad, run power in, and it makes a full roasting operation business, you know, right in your backyard. Correct. So let's head outside. I want to show them what you did for ventilation on the outside because that's one of the problems uh, people have to solve. All right, so we're behind the roasting shed. Mm -hmm. And so what Dave did is, you know, getting... The rule of thumb is if you can get your exhaust 30 w feet away from your nearest neighbor, just 30 feet, you can no longer smell it. It doesn't make a big deal. And also getting the sound away. So what Dave did in his last um, installation was did a below earth a discharge. Because if you're running your exhaust 90 degrees down, pointed at bare, mm -hmm. bare earth, you know, at least a foot below grade. You cannot hear it from anywhere. Can't do that here because of the water in the ground. So we couldn't dig a hole. Yeah, in the and water. the ground is extremely hard. So what Dave did, you got creative, and he got a couple of um, flower pots that look like uh, half wine bears or plastic. He lined the inside, and Dave was a one inch uh, thick material, one inch thick soundboard. You can get that soundboard, I think, at Lowe's and Home Depot, Depot. and it's got the silver on both sides. Mm -hmm. He lined that on the inside, so he came out of his roasting room down with a five inch duct and ran it all the way over and discharged inside of there. And then on the very top of it, um, which was the bottom of the pot, he mm -hmm. drilled holes in it for the air to escape. And uh, so you cannot hear this that much if it's running uh, when you're outside. You know, well, actually we could um, fire up the roaster so you could actually hear it. And I have come home and he's been roasting from work and into the garage and I physically cannot hear this till I get to the back side of the house yeah. and our bedrooms on the other side so uh, and the garage so this is the garage right here right and you're in your own driveway yeah so if you're in your neighbor's driveway on right. either side you're not going to hear it and that's what this is for this is to mm -hmm. uh, be kind to your neighbors and so that the roasting operation mm -hmm. I, I doubt if anybody would even know that the roasting operation was here